Colonel Richard F. Hum, an American who made extremely noteworthy contributions to the United States. He was a military veteran of three wars, World War II, Korea, and Vietnam, and made significant impact on U.S. foreign policy and international relations in the Far East. Dick Hum was born in 1924 in Butte, Montana, and attended high school and Chinese school in San Francisco. He joined the Army in 1942 and initially saw service in the fields of meteorology and later in communications. He served primarily in the European theater. In 1947, he left military service and continued his studies at the University of California at Berkeley until his recall to active duty in 1950 for service in the Korean War. It was also in 1950 when Hum married his sweetheart, Jane Louie. Their first military assignment was to Alaska. Hum's military assignments took him throughout the continental United States as commander of several units. Among the most important of his assignments was to the Office of Assistant Secretary of Defense for Public Affairs during the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962. He was one of only four men who could speak directly from the Pentagon to President Kennedy during this volatile period in our nation's history. There's a, a picture that you have here. Could you I explain this? To right. Now, to emphasize the uh, importance of the events that led up to uh, to the quarantine and the blockade. Here is a picture here on this side, on the left side, uh, where you see in the Pentagon press room. Now oh, this was taken down. about two o'clock in the morning, and this was the night before President Kennedy was going to make his announcement to the world that there would uh, be a quarantine and a blockade. And there wasn't a person in that room that believe that uh, we weren't going into World War III and a nuclear war. In 1965, then Lieutenant Colonel Hum was assigned as the Assistant Air Liaison Officer in the British Crown Colony of Hong Kong. He was the first American of Chinese descent to be assigned to that post with diplomatic accreditation by the U.S. Foreign Service. He later served as the Defense Liaison Officer in Hong Kong and the Defense Attaché in Taipei, Taiwan. He later returned to the American Institute in Taipei in a similar capacity. His final assignment was Head of Human Intelligence for the Air Force in Washington, D.C. One of the coups of the era was the defection of Soviet Viktor Blanko with his MiG-25 Foxbat. Colonel Hum's unit was responsible for this project. Colonel Hum's military career of 31 years led to the awarding of the Legion of Merit, our nation's second highest peacetime medal, an unprecedented five times. And his example has led to his son and grandson to follow in his footsteps. In 1996, Dick and Jane moved to the Veterans Home of California in Yachtville. Dick volunteered and worked in many capacities, raising $2 million in funds and equipment and becoming the AMVETS Post 101 Commander. In 2001, the Home's Hall of Fame inducted them as a couple. Colonel Hum passed away in 2011 at the age of 86. He leaves behind a legacy of excellence and a loving family that endures to carry on his tradition.